I'm Julie Hassan, founder of the Chalk and Chances Project. This is the fourth video in our series, Keys to Better Student-Teacher Relationships. We need students to be collaborators in the effort of their own learning, and we also need them to collaborate in creating a safe and positive learning environment. So in today's video, we're talking about relationship-based discipline. We know that effective procedures, clear expectations, and engaging instruction can prevent most of our discipline issues, but students are still going to occasionally make inappropriate choices that disrupt learning, either their learning or their classmates' learning. And we know that classrooms are full of relationships, and in any relationship, there's sometimes conflict. So how do we deal with that misbehavior or those conflicts in a way that preserves our relationships with our students? We can deal with misbehavior without damaging relationships. For example, we can focus on those relationships over rules. We can prioritize the people in our classroom and the impact all of our actions have on the people over just whether or not a student breaks a rule. We can make sure that when we deal with that misbehavior and conflict, we do it in a way that doesn't ever embarrass, humiliate, or shame a child. We can give our students opportunities to make amends, to try to fix whatever damage they've done by their choices. And we can focus on discipline as teaching, help them understand how to make better choices next time and how to become better people and better classmates and better citizens in our classrooms. So here are some steps to follow in a relationship-based discipline process. First, let the student cool down. And you might need to cool down too because we won't be able to make any progress if we are escalated emotionally. Next, ask what happened and really listen to the student's story. Give that student an opportunity to get it all out. Then ask the student what he or she was thinking allow them to go back and reflect on that behavior. What happened before they made an inappropriate choice? What was going through their head? And then talk to that student about how they can make amends. Where do we go from here? And finally, you may have to put a consequence in place because there are always consequences for actions. Using relationship-based discipline doesn't mean that we don't consequence students for inappropriate choices, but we do so in a way that preserves the dignity and the relationship. Most students have occasional misbehavior, but researchers estimate about 25% of our students have consistent discipline issues. This can happen for many reasons, and it's important to try to understand the reason behind some of that misbehavior. Sometimes the behavior is passive behavior, where they refuse to follow rules, they refuse to work, they just push back and are belligerent a little bit. A lot of times this comes from fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of getting involved or giving their best effort. Sometimes it's aggressive behavior, where they're arguing with others, they're doing things to try to get a response from the others, to try to create a conflict. And often this comes from anger, and it could be anger they're carrying from something that happened earlier in the day or at home. And we can help them learn how to appropriately express that anger so they can work through it. Sometimes the misbehavior is just from inattention. They haven't paid attention to the directions, to the expectations, to the focus of the lesson. And there are things we can put in place, timers, check sheets, other reminders to help make sure that they are following the directions, following the rules, and understand what's expected of them. And for some kids, it's just socially unskilled behavior. They haven't learned yet how to appropriately communicate and interact with others. We can role play, we can share stories, we can use all kinds of teaching tools to help them learn how to get along with their peers. And we can also help them learn how to get along with their teachers and the other adults who are asking them to follow the rules, to produce work, to collaborate in their own learning in the classroom. One of my favorite stories from the Chalk and Chances project came from Elena, who carries a fond memory of Mrs. Carter, her elementary school guidance teacher. Elena said she moved from school to school several times before she ended up in Mrs. Carter's school. 
And right away at her new school, she got in trouble in the classroom again for bothering another child. Elena had gotten the message that she was a bad kid, and so she acted like a bad kid. And often someone was called to come escort her out of the classroom. But she said lucky for her at this particular school, Mrs. Carter, the guidance counselor, was the one who came to get her. She remembers Mrs. Carter's office because it had a big fish tank. And often Mrs. Carter would just let her sit and watch the fish for a few minutes to calm down. Then they would talk about what had happened. Mrs. Carter would listen, she had empathy, and then she would help Elena try to figure out how she could do it better the next time and how she could make amends for whatever commotion she had caused in the classroom. She said Mrs. Carter was the one who gave her the message, you might make bad choices, but you're not a bad kid. And over time, she learned to make better, more appropriate choices in the classroom. She got positive reactions from her teachers, from her peers, and always um, positive consequences and rewards from Mrs. Carter. Mrs. Carter really was invested in teaching her how to behave appropriately, and it helped her become successful, not just in her elementary school classroom, but in the rest of her school career. When we help students resolve issues and work through conflicts in the classroom, when we teach them more appropriate ways to behave, we help them not just find more success in learning, but find more success in life. By using relationship-based discipline practices and being committed to relationships over just rules, you can become the teacher every student remembers. For a free ebook full of little ways to make a big impact, text the word RESOURCE to 66866. And be sure to visit chalkandchances.com for even more inspirational stories.